Mariana Cardosa Jr. faces deportation because a 22-year-old college student is an undocumented immigrant. But there is a proposed law that would prevent such an action called the DREAM Act. We're joined now by his attorney, Anthony Collins. Uh, fascinating story. I mean, uh, I'm going to assume with your career in law, how many stories like this have you dealt with over the last 10 years? Unfortunately, it's, it's all too common to is see really? cases like this. I see them almost every day. Right. Well, let me ask Mariano, what would you do? I mean, would, so many people are feel very uh, heartbroken by the story. If you were the judge and you had you facing you, what should be the appropriate remedy for this? Because the argument is Mariano came in here unbeknownst to him, but he benefited from education, from not paying taxes, and gee, we should just send him back. He's not a citizen. But you're, the, the flip side is he's kept his nose clean. He's been a good person. He's going to school. He wants to be a productive citizen. Now it's, he's been found out what's the appropriate penalty or you know, remedy here. Well, if I was the judge, I, would, I don't think that would be possible because um, it's not... The judge is just um, acting on the laws that are imposed on him, and so the, I don't think the judge would really help. Okay. Well, what law should what should be the right law? What should be the right remedy for this? I think the Dream Act um, it would would really help us, um, help me, and students who have come here um, and who are here in the undocumented, but who have no no recognition of, of their home country. Of what, so I think the Dream Act would, would really help me. What's the case to make for you? If you're telling folks watching how I met you, what's the case you make for you staying here? I came here when I was 22 months old, but see, that's not, that really doesn't do much. But I know I, I have enough background being here, um, not only making this my home, but I've gotten to know my community um, through volunteering and uh, um, my my college where I go, uh, Capital Community College, it has, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting okay, nervous. You know, that's okay, but being, what's the big, if you had to give two points, you want to be in America, you've been here, you're 22 months old, it's the only home you've known, you've been a good citizen, you're going to school, you want to be a math teacher or, or an engineer, so how would you close that out? If I, you said you did all these things here, what would you make as your closing argument that, hey, I deserve, I deserve to be here? I, I, I know I deserve to be here because I can, I can be a, a math teacher, if not a civil engineer. And with that, I'll be able to help students um, or any, um, and just give back. Um, I volunteered all my years in Cabra Community College, and it has given me a chance to... Um, to be part of something bigger than me. Right, so and, be a productive citizen. Right, and be and be a model citizen. And and now with the laws with the law that with my, my position I have I have put my hands tied my behind my back. I can't do anything. Um and I know I can't get a job but I know I can still volunteer for the time being. And I guess that that's what makes me want to stay. Okay. Mr. Collins, closing arguments here. He made a compelling point. He's a good citizen. He wants to contribute. He's working for a college education. He wants to give back. Uh, this DREAM Act, maybe we can summarize what this DREAM Act is, is about. How would this help your client? Well, if the DREAM Act passed, um, the DREAM Act would allow him to gain permanent residence in the United States, which is the step before getting citizenship. You need to be a permanent resident first. And uh, in order to qualify for that, you would basically have to show that you have been uh, a good citizen or a, a good person, that you have uh, earned it through education or military service. You've been here for a number of years since you were a young child, um, and you uh, would benefit the community if you were able to uh, get status in the, in the United States. And one thing I'd like to emphasize about this, this act or, or people who would benefit under this is that people in Mariano's position, once they do get legal status, they truly value American values, mm -hmm. that they, they know what it, what it means to be an American. And Mike, do we have the uh, bullet points on the DREAM Act? My producer, Mike, you have that? Why don't you drop that down with another quick summary of the DREAM Act and what that means. So it would be for people 15 years of age and younger who were brought here, who've been living here for more than five years. Um, here's some of the, the bullet points here now. Um, 
that's the wrong uh, screen there, Mikey, but the, the, the bullet points on the DREAM Act. Well, if, it, I, if I could just, you yeah. know, the, the law has, has not passed. There's different variations of it, but essentially it's for people who have grown up in the United States undocumented. Okay. The actual amount of time that they have to be here, that still hasn't been decided by Congress if it were to pass. But the essential elements are that you've been here for a long time, you grew up here undocumented, you've gone to school, you are a benefit to the community, um, or you've, you've done military service. Right. But, but it's, it's something that you've earned. You've demonstrated that you, you merit this relief. Now the counter to that is that people say, well, listen, there's so many undocumented immigrants out there, maybe over 10 million. Is this right? Is this the right course of action? How do you deal with all these folks who may come out of the woodwork? How do you counter that? Well, immigration is an American tradition. And that, that response is, is counter to American history, to, to, uh, um, to the history of the United States. And um, immigration is important to the United States. And based on my own experience representing people in the United States, they, they um, provide essential uh, um, traditions, essential services, essential things to American culture. It's important. In 30 seconds, two quick comments from the blog world there. Helen Eubin has had a column on this. Two quick comments. One from Grog656. Uh, he talks about uh, the issue of being illegal. And he says, illegal is illegal. I don't care how the illegal comes to the U.S. Illegal is illegal. Illegal aliens do not rate any benefits of this country. They do not really rate anything. Your comment to, to that attitude. You know it's out there. How do you respond to that? And Mariana, how do you respond to that? I mean, that's, uh, that attitude is out there, and we all know that. So what, your, your response to guys says, hey, you're illegal. Too bad. Tough luck, buddy. Well, in a way, that's that's wrong because that's basing on on own personal personal ideas. That that idea thing needs to be that person. I think should be more knowledgeable and educated because not not all people are doing doing bad. Okay. Simple as that. We got hit to cut you over. We have about ten seconds left. I want to show the positive reaction. We don't have that, but they said the positive one said, "Hey, listen, the guy's doing the right thing. He wants to be a productive citizen. Why not give him a chance? This is America." So those are the two points of view when it comes to debate this issue. Good luck to you. Hope to have you back. All right, all right, folks. I want to thank our guests, Christine Stewart, Mariana Cardosa Jr., and Anthony Collins. You can send your show comments or requests, or watch us again at ctnow.com/stand and friend us on Facebook. Become a fan of the Stan Simpson show. We're on Twitter, too. Look out for those tweets. For the good folks here at Fox Connecticut, I'm Stan Simpson. See you next week.